Hi, uh, this is Sarah May, uh, and this is my sixth day of 365 days of experiencing God Project. Um, Christmas is coming up. Um, three days later from today, it's Christmas Day, and it's just really different from uh, different Christmas than before because I have a baby now. I mean, it's it's going to be first Christmas to spending with him, and. Um, it's really, I feel responsible that I have to let him know, let my son know throughout, you know, throughout his life that Christmas time is not the time of celebration, to not to have fun and party or anything, but it's to really remember uh, Jesus. So it's really special time of the year and, and I feel more special this year. Okay. You see the pizza over there? Yes, I yes, yeah. I was craving for pizza last night, so we delivered pizza, and then the baby was touching it, so we we put it up up here. <laughs> Anyways, um, today's verse is Jeremiah eighteen verse six. This is Jeremiah uh, chapter eighteen verse six. He said, "Can I not do with you, Israel, as this potter does?" declares the Lord, like clay in the hand of potter. So are you in my hand, Israel. God is telling Israel that um, he is potter, and in Israelis, uh, they are the clay, which is us, right? So, he's going to mold the clay, potter's going to mold the clay, and dry the clay, and bake the clay, so that he can make the uh, the complete product. So that it can, it can be cup, it could be anything, right? God knows how to save people around you, the people you're praying for, and, and the country or the anything that you're praying for, God already knows. And God already knows how to bring salvation to this whole world. But He is looking for someone, someone um, who is praying that, who is asking God, God that, that I want to be a person that He can use. So He is looking for someone to harvest. Uh, and he wants to work with us, even though he knows all the all the solutions to 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 the problems of our lives. And we have to remember that his ability and he is capable. His capability does not limit it to our our talent or our ability. So sometimes we we often we we often pray that God please let me know like what's my talent is so I can I can praise you and I can work for you uh, effectively and strategically. But let's let's just remember that it's even though we don't have ability, if he did, if God decided to use us, then he will put us, he will give us the talent and, and ability that we can never, we can, we, we ever have imagined before. So, uh, let's remember the clay, our, like that's us, the clay doesn't have any plants. They only have plants to be molded, to be baked, and to be shaped by the potter. So let's remember that God, our potter, and let's be humble while he's molding us. All right? Have a great day. Bye.